The following game has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and violence. You have been advised if you don't like blood and violence, even though this is a Nintendo game, turn the game video off. Welcome back to Sanity's Requiem, Dark and Entrancement. What is it called? Eternal Darkness. So, I just had a scare that I thought I lost the save date of the game and I had to start all over from the beginning. I went to load the game. I went to the options to turn widescreen back on because it actually looks better even though the cutscenes are in the 4x3. And... I went... I saved the options in the memory card. Then I load... I, I went to play the game and I accidentally pushed start game instead of load game and it started me all over from the beginning i'm like what because i saved the settings it saved over my save state and i was about to start playing level one all over again and i went to save it and it still had my save and i'm like oh good i can load it i was so relieved all right so let's read this dumb chapter i will not argue that i was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. Alright, so this chapter takes place in the mansion that we already are in. But, we're playing as a really old man who's dead now. So we're going to pick up some ammunition. We have a really old pistol. I don't even know if we have it. Yeah, we do. But it takes forever to reload the ammo. Oof, so we're going to try to get something real good. To help us? How do I get out of here? Looking at the stuff. Looking at some stuff. Wait, I don't think we're supposed to be over here yet. So this guy has a lot of stamina, but he runs really slow. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I'm supposed to go in here. The door of the servants' quarters is securely locked. Fine. The door. Found some more ammunition. What are you doing? The servant is preoccupied with his duties. What is he doing? Doesn't look like anything I would want him to do. Alright, so now we can go all the way down the hallway. To the master bedroom, like we did in the first. Whoa, there's more ammunition. All over the place is this ammunition. But we got now we have a stone tablet. Pick up the codex, boy. Are you trying to clean the floor with just your bare hands? What? Will you mad me, lady? 
Pick up the letter. A letter written with some precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the tome of the eternal darkness, or a copy of it at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it would be a powerful weapon. Pursue it if you will, but beware its magic. It is a harsh mistress. Aaron Roivis. So that's one of our ancestors were letters. Alright, so now we can go to the bathroom, right? Wait, wasn't this the bathroom before? Oof. More ammunition. I really don't want to use this gun. This seems very, very, very hard to use. I guess we'll equip it. Do I have to, like, mix the ammo with it? Oh, it's already fully loaded. Alright. Now we go to the kitchen, where we were when we started the game. With our AIM leaving message. Ooh, a tablet, eh? Pick it up, dude. All right, that's pretty cool. What else can we find in this room? More ammo. Sweet. And here we have what? A pump handle. We might need that. Seems conspicuous. All right, now we get out of here, close the door for our AIM message, and we go back up to the dining room. Wait, yeah, the dining room's not up. It's just north. Okay, so we have to go to the fireplace. Where is it? And we have to examine it. And we place the dominant. So this shows you which ones are better against which ones. The red one is greater than the green one, I guess? The green one is greater than the blue one, and the blue one is greater than the red one somehow. There is something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before my master Ulyoth's great foe, the path to truth will be opened. I think we have to move it to the green one. Because green, we picked the purple, or the blue, I guess. We picked the blue um, thing at the beginning of the game, so. Green is always going to be the stronger. Oh, now we got a scroll. Scroll, pick that boy up. The reveal invisible scroll is picked up. We also get a saber that I will now equip because I do not want to use this gun until it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so we go that we saber. Yeah, got the saber and the red ruin. And there's also another gun in here, right here. So we can have, have two guns at once. We're gonna go on a pistol brawl. See, now there's two guns, dual flintlock. And then we have also the tomb book. Yes, take that too. Oh no! Taking it is but a monster in the moon. As Max lifts the tome of eternal darkness, a letter slips out from between the pages. Deftly, Max catches it as it drops toward the floor. What does the letter say? 
a letter scrawled almost indecipherably by a wavering hand. Dear friend, as I suspected, the ruins of Enga that blasted Necrop Necropolis lie deep under the site of the mansion. The accursed servant of Olioth are so close I can almost hear their chat chittering. There is a secret opening in the basement, and from there we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it, or better still, destroy that damn place. I have bestowed a something that you will find useful on the upper level. Look on the light, and you will find it. I wish that I could be at your side, but my ailment worsens daily, and I know that my time is short. This is the same guy. Can we make the spell yet? Recovery re reveal. No. We still need another thing, I guess. Alright, but that's all that's in here. Let's go back through the passage. Where was it? Seriously, where was the passage? <laughs> mm. Oh, in the fireplace. Duh. Fight, dude. Oh, so you're gonna turn into this monster? Sorry, I thought you were a demon. Hey, how are you doing with that? With the clothes? Okay, I'm going to save it. We've had this problem before, so I'm not going to... I can't save it? Seriously? Come on, dude. Don't want to die from this monster. Why can't I save it? All right. Well, let's enchant the sword. Whoops! Whoops I moved. Found the magical ruin. I think that's all we needed. Yeah, that's all we needed. Now we can have the review invisible spell. Okay. Make it the r the left button. All right. I actually want to see. I think that the enchant item. Bell is stronger if we do that. We'll do the recovery spell the same. Attempt autopsy. How fantastic. New entry has been placed in the Maximilian's medical journal. We ask this from the journal section of the tome. Oh, that's cool. When an autopsy has been performed, Max can view the new entry by turning to the journal section of the tome and looking autopsy at the bottom of the page. Selecting the autopsy to view up and down, pressing A will change it. We'll display it. Okay, I don't care that bad. Can we finish him? Yeah. I was trying to do that, but it kept doing stuff. It kept, it kept doing stuff. Insane team. Finish him. God, you're so slow, sir. Let's run. Now we can find a letter by the stained glass window. Hold on. Now 
Max spies an envelope that has fallen behind the pedestal, fallen perhaps, or been hidden there. Despite his excitement at this discovery, Max senses something odd about it, a sense of evil. Should Max retrieve the sealed envelope? I die? What? That is ridiculous. I didn't even die. He barely got me for five seconds. Oh my god. I have to start the whole freaking thing over again. Well, I'll meet you back there. This is so dumb. If it would have let me save it after the freaking... <sighs> Alright, let's try this dumb thing again. I saved downstairs right after I killed the monster. Max spies an envelope that has fallen behind the pedestal, fallen perhaps, or have been hidden there. Despite his excitement at the discovery, Max senses something odd about it. A sense of evil. Alright, so now we didn't even get her. Pointless to save. Alright, so I'm gonna save again. So we don't have to do this all over again again. So now we have to go back downstairs to fight another monster. I'm glad I saved it there. First, let's sign off AIM. Oh, so this is like a black and white cutscene. Another monster. So if you die in this time, this time it doesn't matter. Gosh, you have to get so close to hit him. I guess I could use the gun, but I don't want to. Save the gun for the final boss of this stage. Hmm? So do we have it? I don't understand. Did we get it, even though it was a dream? Yeah, he appears to be gone. Oh, you missed. design is oddly reminiscent of a circle of power mentioned in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. It probably refers to some kind of spell in its alignment. Maybe. Maybe now we can use... There's a door here. Door's locked. Hmm. Did we get oh, I think the letter had a key in it. No? Oh maybe we have to read it. Paper envelope sealed with the glob of melted wax. An odd rune is represented into the wax. There appears to be something heavy inside. I was the letter addressed to one of Maximilian's father's aides. Max has found a basement key. I guess we can read the letter. Keep pressing B. The letter written in a scrawling hand reads, Dear friend, as I expected, the beasts are drawing closer to our discovery. 
They want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I have taken steps to ensure that their ilk will not touch the key in this envelope. Should you fall prey to their claws, the envelope contains the basement key. It has been sealed with a corrosive magic. If one not aligned with us tries to handle it, it will be released, inflicting pain, suffering an egregious blow to their sanity. Should they have any left, be swift with your task. Alright, so I'm going to save it now. Because I feel like I can't save it when there's monsters. Why am I stuck somewhere? I always get stuck. Get out of the way, get out of the way, no! Stupid monster, I'm trying to get out of the way of this man because... I have so much trouble hitting these things. It seems like I do. Alright, so we got more... Ammo for our weapon. We got this tomb codex. Rune codex. Is there more stuff? I forget. Let's check the map. It says by the thing there's a scroll. And there it is. There it is. Damage field special scroll. So now I think we to be able to use that? No, I guess not. Oh well. We need to use the water pump on the water pump. Water pump handle. Which pumps water out of the well, but does not put it in the bucket for some reason. Come on guys, you can animate that. Supposed to go in this? No, that's the ladder. Is it? Oh, it's, this is a door. I guess it's a door. The door. Oh no, I'm trapped. Is, is it really happening? Is it really happening? Now we got the spell. So this spell is. Put to like a field around you so you can't get hurt. Since we got that room, the force field goes away. But this is the boss. It's different. The boss in here is different. Depending on in the first chapter which symbol you selected, so we selected the blue symbol, so it's a blue scorpion-like thing. And since we pick the blue symbol, we need to cast the enchanted island item spell with a green symbol. We want to enchant our windlocks. So that we don't have to go close to it. Now I have to reload. You stupid guns.
Is he dead already? The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one, and there was an entire city of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! Right, Jude, chill out. So he was labeled insane and put into an insane sanatorium. Sanatorium. Sanitarium. Pretty cool, huh, lady? All right, now we got to use our reveal spell that we just got, and we got to do it in a certain room. You'll remember in the first episode we got the dresser key, so now we can have access to the dresser. But hold on, let me sign out of AIM. We go to the dresser. Is that no? That. Or this? No, it's this. See, there's a symbol on the front. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. It's the triangle symbol. Okay. So let's go into our inventory, into our magic. Let's where the spell list, and we'll do the reveal invisible. We'll cast it with green. I'm not sure which one to do. Now we can finally use our dresser key that we've had this whole time. And inside is a pistol. Or a revolver or whatever. And the next chapter page, A Journey into Darkness, which... Too hard, Rick. Too hard. Soon, the heart will be in our possession, my liege. Never underestimate the power of Mantarok. Even in death, it corrodes all about itself. It is unguarded. The presence of the Corpse God causes fear in all who come near it. It has torn entire villages asunder and made the region uninhabitable. Only the foolish would venture near it. Even so, what may be easy to take may be easily taken away. Fear not. For centuries we have searched for something that was before us all the time. Mantarok's essence never left the city temple, and with it located, we are one step closer to your freedom, Master. Yes, yes. Make haste. Alright, 
so that's going to be all we do today. In the next episode, we'll open the tap chapter page that we got. See you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>